Greetings, Keechlings. Keech Prime here with my live reaction of the Four Knights of the Apocalypse, Chapter 2. Really wasn't expecting Chapter 2 to come out when it did, but sure, the first one literally went up today, so you get a double feature today. But um, the title is Chance Meeting. Okay. And we got Percival here on the front. Uh, chapter 2 of the new serialization, the sequel to The Seven Deadly Sins. Whether you know about The Seven Deadly Sins or not, I hope you enjoy it. Okay. I still not particularly liking the fact that you can watch or read this without prior knowledge of the previous series, but okay. Let's see here. There's God's Finger, and... Oh, he has he really does have to climb down. Okay, never mind, he jumps down. Well, but before I get to that, oh, there's a talk bubble. Um, whoa, I've been climbing down for a whole day. A whole day, sweet Jesus. Sweet little fucking baby Jesus. Um, for a while, uh, or a whole day, and still can't see below the clouds. They misspelled below. Now he's like really going at it, jumping down. Let's see here. Oh, we finally touched ground at least. Phew, okay. I think my phone's battery went dead and it turned itself off. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway. Phew, okay. I'll rest here for today. Oh, he's like a little snug bug. It's cold. Brr. Oh, that reminds me of that one stupid thing from the Powerpuff Girls. It's like, it's like, what was the name of the squirrel thing? And it's like, brr, I'm cold. I need a sweater. And it just keeps saying the same thing over and over again. It was cute the first few times. After that, no. Anyway, he finally went to sleep, and he's thinking of Grandad. Uh, Gramps is so warm. Oh, the fact that you can literally just curl up. <laughs> It's still ridiculous that, like, you're wearing, you can just use his cape as your, you know, blanket like that. Which I guess, multifunctional. <clears throat> but still. How is he so small? Then again, that was his granddad so big. It's like, we saw his father Ironside, so it's like, where's the scaling in this family? There, <laughs> It's kind of weird. And he's like, Gramps. Okay, double spread. Okay, continuing to climb about. Going along the edge. Like swinging, jumping, hopping. Almost fell off. Whoa, whoa. Whew, that was a close one. Oh, I think that's the ground. I, I see it. The world's surface. It's so wide. Hmm. What did he think it was going to be narrow? Uh I did it, Gramps. I'm almost at Britannia. Technically, you're kind of always there, aren't you? <laughs> um, or is Britannia only a country, or is it like the the world itself? Or the human portion of the world? I don't know. It was kind of always whatever to me. I wasn't sure. It always felt like it meant just like all of the, at least the human world. But... Either way, uh-oh. He just slipped right up and... Hey, look, it's a stone bird. Did he... What? Oh, shit, he nearly killed it. And then it's like... Argh! You saved me, Mr. Rock. It was a stone... Oh, my God, you're calling it a rock because it sounds like rock, but you call it a stone bird in the first translation. What? Why? Why is there a rock connection to that? As a token of my gratitude, I'll never feast on your kind again. It just smacks him off. It's like, bitch, get off. I'll eat you for that. <laughs> oh, Lord. Alrighty, so now it's a, whoa. Oh, there's a tree. Oh, oh that's got to hurt. And it's like, but he seems relatively fine. There's like a creaking of the branches. Huh? Whoa! Oh, oh, did he fall out of the tree or did he... I think he fell out of the tree. da de do da What? <laughs> Tawali? 
to wah? <laughs> what? What are these sound effects? I I made it as he skids to the ground. <gasps> it's the thing from the cover art. It's a oh, it actually has a the little necklace thing already, the little tag. It looks like a crystal. Hmm. Huh. So is this So that's how they made, just like that. Okay. I never seen an animal like you on God's finger. To be honest, I don't know how many animals you would have seen on God's finger. I don't even think a goat would go up there. It's like now he's got to Wait, how did you He's having to readjust the helmet as if it had been covering his eyes the whole time. So unless maybe it just slipped down. So then how did he see the little fox thing? Hey there, I'm Percival. I just climbed down from God's finger. It took me two whole days. Well, you fell part of the way. And it's just going like, well, I guess you don't understand human speak. Um, is there anyone else like me around here? Do you know where uh, any people live? It's interested and then it walks away. My grandpa told me that there was uh, there are villages and towns and stuff. They're full of people. <laughs> he's just, he's like, hey, just don't walk away from me. You haven't answered my questions. I bet I'm going to meet someone around here like our destinies are intertwined. Think we can get along? And it's it's just running away. I bet it's going to run into a town and then he'll be like, oh, you were leading me all along, weren't you, little fuzzy friend? And, it's, and it'd be just like over there, like licking itself in the groin. And be like, that's gross, but thank you. You know, kind of deal. Ah, uh, come on, wait up. I'm lonely because I don't know anybody else. I mean, really, he literally knows nobody else. He he knows like two people. Three if you count this little fox thing. Let's see here. Jumps into a bush. Wait. Oh, and people. Not quite the village I was hoping for, but people. Working in a field, it looks like. Wait. I wasn't sure if I recognized them or not, but I don't think I do. Come one, come all. A mysterious spectacle from the world of the Cat Street Trope or Troop is about to unfold. Oh, they're circus performers. Also, this girl looks a lot like I forgot what her name was. She was the leader of the Giants. Um, oh, look at the little monkey. This dude is freaking huge. Like, is he going to use magic with that little stick? And the other dude just can't be bothered. Starting, also, who are you, uh, like, talking to, for that matter? There's, like, nobody around. You're in a field. So there's a pretty clear shot of everything around. Nothing. So, like, who are you talking to? Starting us off is our troop leader and fire user. Yours truly, Cats. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm seeing in the next panel that, yeah, he does do magic. Be sure to watch the scraps of paper in the palm of my hand. Oh, God, please don't tell me that they're frickin' Viver cards. Because if they are, it means everyone's dead. Um... Oh my, how mysterious. They're gone out in uh, sparks in the blink of an eye. This is like shitty magic, but then again, if you're like a human, this I, maybe you're like typically not. <laughs> uh, it's not a common thing. So, oh, she must be just like a the animal tamer. So the monkey, that monkey got bigger. Like shit. The sole woman of the troop, Lady Elba. Uh, pay close attention to her hoop. When the monkey goes through the hoop, I swear that monkey just got freaking large. And what? Viola, it's gone. She disappeared the monkey? What? So she has like some kind of dimensional magic or whatever? Uh, but when it goes through again, it mysteriously reappear or returns. Monkey cheeky little bastard, eh? And finally, our troop's closing performer. Donnie, at least practice seriously. 
Come on, man, what's the point of doing it if no one's around to see it? I mean, that's what I said. It's exactly because no one's around that we're practicing. Huh? Don't act like a model student. Oh, and Percival was like, Yay! Magic! <laughs> You're so, so, so awesome! And they're all like, What? Someone's here? Who? <laughs> well, why would they know who he was anyway? That was incredible. I want to see it again. Is that... Is that boy from a, around here? Around here? Wasn't there nobody? Hey, Rot. Uh, this ain't the kind of show you watch for free. Let's see the money. Don't threaten him just because he caught us practicing. Shut up. We need to put food on the table. I mean, he's got a point. <clears throat> I mean, if you're going to practice, put a tent up or something, right? But anyway. Sorry, but what's money? Oh, God, he's Goku. Um... Uh-oh, Donnie ain't hopper. Okay, then, uh, give me your luggage. Sure. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you my trick. Oh, he's a pickpocketing. Wow, really? And, oh, he's got a knife. Wait, he's levitating? What? Huh? Huh? Oh, no, that wasn't him. That He's a levitating Percival. But, whoa, I'm floating. I'm actually floating right... I'm actually floating right now. You're totally floating. Whoa. He's also holding, like, that knife when he did it. So, is there, like, a magic connected to the knife? Whoa. Hey. Are you doing this? And he's looking right... They've run off with his shit. Hey. Donnie, how dare you steal that poor kid's luggage? Haha, <laughs> just teaching him how the world works. Besides, the effects are going to wear off soon, so it's no big deal, right? Also, you're planning on just letting him fall, probably get injured, and die. God, you are a monster. It's a huge deal. We can't just leave that kid alone like that. And, oh, oh it really did wear off pretty quick. Oh? <laughs> uh, true, he didn't seem to have any company, and that cloak and helmet looked ancient. As far as I can see, he's in the middle of a solitary journey. So, you're saying we should turn back? But we're already taken so far ahead, right? Or, we've already gotten so far ahead, right? Oh shit, Percival uh, showing them skills. He, he covered the distance like a champ. Wait! Huh? He, he ran right past them. I went too far, and he had to stop and... To be honest, Donnie looks like he belongs in DBZ. Yep. With that face. Uh, he ran and caught up with a horse? So... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Here, take your stuff and scram. So, but is it all there? I don't believe him. Um, well, I was looking for somebody, but do you have any idea how I could uh, find him? Search for someone. This person got a name. Ironside. Ironside, is he someone you know? He's my father, and he killed my gramps. Your father? <laughs> no, they're freaking out. Doesn't sound like a very pleasant story, but basically you're on a quest for revenge. I, I don't know. What's revenge? He probably wouldn't know. <clears throat> That's why I want to hear it from him directly. Why? Why did he kill Gramps? Why did he appear before us now? But I do know I'm going to kick his butt. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, dear. That name doesn't seem to ring a bell for me. Sorry, me neither. Well, I'm not sure how much I understand what's or understand going off that, but there's plenty of people in the village. Maybe you'll find some info that way. Oh, so there is a village nearby. Okay. Then why weren't they near to the village? I mean, their tricks didn't take up that much space. It's not like they're a full-on circus or anything. So, let's see here. Village? Village? A village? I heard about this from Gramps. Hello, loud vehicle. Um, I heard about that from Gramps. Rumor has it there are tons of people and houses there. He's, as if they don't know. They're the ones that told you about it. Um, 
Would you like to come with us until we get to the village? L let's go. Uh-oh. Donnie don't like... It was like, this ride ain't free, kid. But we ain't gonna take... He literally did. Yeah. Uh, but we ain't gonna take you for free, see? Can you show us if you can do any tricks? Come on, Donnie. The fact that he just blew past a horse. That is his trick. He could maybe do acrobatics. I mean, we saw how he was climbing down God's finger, right? So, trick. He's got a little bow. Where where was the little bow? <laughs> uh, but either way. So, uh, you, uh, what is that thing with the, like you shoot an arrow off someone's head. Like, what, what is that called? Um, Anyway, so he's going to shoot an apple off a post. Show us what you got. And he does an... Oh, sweet heavens. That didn't go well. It it shaved off Donnie's hair and he was behind him. So, oh, how can you aim at me if I'm behind you? Huh? Huh? Why, well, don't worry about it. Of course, you'll, uh, we'll take you for free. It says, uh, what was his name? The troop leader? Why can't I remember their names? Their names were kind of weird. I only remember Donnie. Um, thank you? <laughs> hmm. It's just until we get to the village, but it's a pleasure to meet you. Elba. Oh, and Cats and Elba. That's it. I'm Elba. I'm Cats, the troop leader. That sourpuss is Donnie. Sourpuss. Now that's a term you don't hear very often. Our troop is stopped by many towns and villages in Britannia, putting on shows for a living. Really? Yes, I just told you that. I'm Percival. Uh, uh, where, uh, what were those tricks you did? They were awesome. It was just like magic. Because it was, dear boy. Tch, those kids' tricks? Awesome. It'd be better if you didn't have to rely on half-ass powers to make money. And they're like, <laughs> hey, it's still something. I mean, you could manipulate the little papers, maybe, you know, make some kind of organized, like, show with them or vary it up with different fire abilities. And she can maybe train some other animals. So, yeah, you, you, they wouldn't be totally nothing, then. Mm, excuse me. Huh? Anyway, if you're a talentless hack like me, you can't make your dreams come true. Tch. Oh, so he doesn't actually have a trick. He... Then what is he doing here? <laughs> well, don't worry about it. It's different for all of us. We're the Cat Street Troop. A uh, bunch of dropouts from... Uh, whose dream of joining the... Oh, they wanted to join the Holy Knights? We're crushed. Wait, how would Elba join the Holy Knights then? She doesn't have magic. I guess she would be like an apprentice because Jerry or Jerry Cho didn't have magic at the beginning. Ooh, what if she does gain like animal magic? Like she can um, like control nearby animals or maybe she becomes a summoner or something. That'd be kind of cool. Or maybe she can enhance the monkey <laughs> so we can do fighting for her. Uh, joining the Holy Knights, we're crushed. Holy Knights? That's it. My father. I, I mean, that guy said it back then. He said Gramps, he and Gramps were Holy Knights. Wait, kid, are you serious? Which country's Holy Knights were they from? C country? I, I don't know. So that means this kid's a, the son of a holy knight? Who'd believe a story like that? Holy knight this, holy knight that. Just can it, would you? Say, troop leader, uh, when do we get to the village? Let's grab a bite uh, with uh, per what's it? What? What, what? what the hell does that mean? Who is that? Uh, Percival, since you don't have any money, it'll be our treat. How's your, uh, how's that sound? Really? Hooray! Hey, Donnie, uh, who do you think is going to pay the bills? 
<laughs> uh, my gramps and I would always go uh, go run af- or do go run after a meal. Oh, you're you're a strong kid. <laughs> I never stood a chance against gramps. Uh, I'll bet you're right. <laughs> uh, that was Donnie. Uh, God, but how long is this trip? Oh wait, it's the same. They're just slowly going down the road. Okay. Let's see. Hey guys, someone's coming our way. Oh? Oh, I see them now. You can see them in the second panel, actually. Looks like they're from the village. It looks like they're screaming something, or shouting something. Oh no, the village is under attack, isn't it? Help us! The, the village is in danger! Well, I would guess I was right. What's wrong? Did something happen? A wolf is rampaging through the village. A wolf. Okay. Call the Holy Knights. Hurry. What's a wolf? You've never seen a wolf before? Bunch of idiots. Why bother to call the Holy Knights? We're good enough to get rid of some stupid wolf. Oh, God, Donnie. No. Well, Cats looks like he's about to fall off the wagon. Hey, Donnie, what are you? In exchange, you owe us a night and a meal at the end. I mean, I guess that's... Oh, sweet heavens, that is a big-ass wolf. It's got the same mark from Ironside on its tail. Yeah, it's chomping down on a house. They're, and they're probably like, well, shit. Make that a month of meals and, you know, lodgings. It's huge. A wolf monster? They misspelled monster. There's no N. Uh oh, they got its attention. We, we gotta tell the Holy Knights. Yeah, they're getting the fuck out of there. Hold on. There are people inside. Oh, there's like a, an old man, I think, and his granddaughter? Grandson? I'm not really sure what. There's nothing we can do for them. Percival's going to. Uh, is he gonna pull out the sword? I feel like he needs the sword. Oh, he hopped off the wagon. Percival, do, do you wanna die? Grandpa told me every day, unnerve the evil and help the weak. Risk your own life to become one who protects what's important. Okay, and now he's touched onto the ground and he's jumping forward. I will never uh, feel the way they do again. And I won't let anyone else feel that way either. Oh, the wolf can talk? What? <laughs> Stop right there. Oh, wait. No, that is personal. Never mind. I, the talk bubble looked like it was coming from the wolf. Um, stop right there, wolf. I'm going to stew you in a pot and eat you up. Okay, that could be interesting. You know not what a wolf tastes like, so that might not be so great. Oh, he pulled out the bow again. Where the hell did he have the bow? He didn't have it on him when he jumped out of the wagon that I could tell. Prepare yourself. And he pulls the arrow and... Oh, it actually goes straight this time. And he goes up for another shot. Wait. Oh. Oh no, the arrow came back and donk, bonked him in the head and then the other one pierced his cape. Ah, my cloak got pinned down. And now the wolf's charging at him. And Donnie, ooh. Donnie's like, no kid. And he gets slashed in the back getting Percival out of the way. Gah. Donnie, Percival. D- Donnie. You got, uh, it hurts. Why did you come back? It's your fault. Because of you, I got fired up again after sitting on my ass for so long. Oh. Percival, get away. And here comes the wolf again. And he's like, bitch, please. If it, if it was that simple, why didn't he just do this before? The wolf was like, what? Donnie's like, huh? <laughs> the people inside the house are like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Oh, he's jumping up into the air. Is he gonna kick it in its face or something? Uh, you. What do you think you're doing? Oh, he's about to... He just slapped the shit out of that (laughs) wolf. Damn, it embedded in the ground, too. Amazing, that kid just defeated that wolf monster. He saved the village. And now the, the people in the house, they're... They've come out and they're embracing. It's like, we're saved, we're saved. There's Percival all happy. 
and the mark on the wolf is disappearing. So I'm kind of wondering, given that it was supposed to be like, I'm wondering if Ironside predicted that Percival would chase after him and that if the wolf ever got taken out, but you know, it would be by Percival's hand maybe. But that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because he could have easily have gone in any direction. So it makes me kind of wonder, are a lot of these monsters set up in various locations? Or was this like the nearest village to Godfanger? So, I don't know. But, also how would you know that Percival was going to follow you to begin with? But, you know, revenge, I guess. But still, uh, yeah, I don't quite get it. But yeah, let's see here. Oh, look, it's the little fox thing again. It's just staring. There's a crystal and a pillow. Oh, is that what that is? That's like a, like a spy eye. So this is like a, he really is just like Hawks, essentially. He's spying <laughs> for somebody else. And then the crystal goes dark. Hmm. That building kind of looks like the one that, um, Gil Thunder was in when we first met him. Gahaha, what a lively little runt to think he'd defeat my familiar. Oh, time for the next one. Oh, look, it, I think it's the seven deadly sins in the back because I see what looks like Merlin and or maybe not. No, that that's Arthur. So, yeah, that is Merlin. So it's not the seven deadly sins. At least I don't think so. I think there's an angel in there. Hmm. And there's a I forgot what its name was, the, the cat monster. So there he is. And he has just. This pill, it's a pillow, apparently, with the crystal. It kind of reminds me of the, what was it called? The sand glass from Steven Universe. What is this man plotting? To be continued in chapter three. A clue to father. Hmm. So, I'm guessing his magic revolves around animals, I guess. He called it a familiar, even though... Not really sure why you would just brand a monster and then it seemingly doesn't, you know, like have any connection to you once the mark is gone, but I don't know. It's kind of odd in my opinion, but okay. But then again, we've seen Holy Knights and stuff have multiple kinds of magic, so maybe that's just his familiar style of magic, plus this you know magic object with the spyglass with the fox and everything which is probably just another one of his familiars I guess maybe that was why he set up the wolf I guess because he saw it with the fox yeah I guess that makes sense right he saw Percival and then it ran away to like you know hide away and you know with all the time that it's you know, he had time to prep given the, the journey to the village and everything and with the time that Percival spent with the troops. So, yeah, I guess that works out. But, uh, I guess an interesting second chapter. We get to see that Percival has some level of archery skill, though they seem to go in weird directions. I wonder if that's some hint of like a power that he has that he just doesn't have control over like maybe he's got like some kind of wind magic or something and like like his innate power is like making the arrows like fly off course or something that'd be kind of interesting strange that he didn't have uh Balgis's sword you know i feel like that would have been a memento to carry with him as well it would have been a useful weapon especially against the wolf um, also kind of funny when he was climbing down and they landed on the the rock now it 
you know, Stonebird, whatever they're going to be canonically called. Um, it it was like, oh, I'm never going to eat you guys again. Thank you. And it's like, and then it kicked him off. I love that. And it was like, I'm eating you guys again. <laughs> ah, Lord. But yeah, and then, you know, his first night alone and everything, like, that was bound to happen at some point. But it's good that he got to meet some people. I, I actually kind of wonder how long the he'll be staying with the troop. Like, will he maybe learn something that he can utilize, you know, in his journey going forth before he separates with them or from them or something? And exactly how far away is Ironside's castle? We have no idea. So, I mean, magic works in such weird ways that he could be literally like towns and miles, miles away. So it's like, who knows? But yeah, so. But I'm kind of wondering, like, when is the fox going to become like the familiar to Percival? Like, it definitely seems like it's going to become that way. Because of the way that it's designed, it's very much like Hawk. Or Hawks. Um, or, no, it was Hawk. I, I always get my heroes Hawks and Hawk from Seven Deadly Sins mixed up. So, yeah. That one S, I swear. Yeah. But, um, so yeah... I kind of wonder, like, is the little necklace going to get destroyed and then it'll, you know, be free and maybe it'll start following Percival around. I mean, it was on the cover art for the first chapter, so I would assume that it's going to become friendly to Percival. But we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. And, uh, yeah... I wonder how close to Camelot they are because they seem to be within its territory if we're getting a King Arthur um, like stained glass window mosaic something behind Ironside there in his castle so I would assume it's within the realm or the you know the territory of Camelot because otherwise why would it be there so so he's probably on the outskirts I would say but then again, we don't really know where God's finger was either, so who knows? Maybe Camelot really just started absorbing kingdoms in the decades since Seven Deadly Sins ended. But either way, not the characters are kind of interesting. I would like to see if they could maybe learn more powerful magics and whatnot. If they're going to become more, you know, uh, reoccurring characters or straight up main characters for, at least for a little while for the series but uh yeah i guess you we really aren't going to get much of the seven deadly sins characters in here are we because it doesn't seem like we're going to meet any anytime soon does it Th that mosaic whatever in the background is about the the closest we've come so far so but yeah We'll have to wait and see for the next chapter, and uh, yeah. But anyway, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this. Anything I miss, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Um, Road to 400 still going on. We're getting, cl uh, we're still really close. Um, links down below for all my social media, so you can keep up with my content and. Uh, you know have ways to contact me and everything i stream on twitch where i do gaming i'll tweet it out when i go live part of the one punch man podcast on grim reaper's channel so go check that out and as always thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and until next time keechlings when will person tame that that little fox oh.